Hey guys, Dustin here with another NASCAR diecast review. Today we are taking a look at well, you can guess from the background and of course they have a few items. Alright, first of all I just want to say I am glad to be back behind this uh, studio right here for the very first time. Of course it is a little bit of a mess here anyway. I'm still going to try to get that cleaned up. Now, some of you may be wondering, uh, where's the hamster at? Where's the hamster? Well, every, some of you comment, some of you are worried about it and say, hey, you might want to put your uh, hamster cage on the floor. And I said, and I was like, oh yeah, good choice. <laughs> good choice. So, so far what I did was uh, put the cage on the floor. And uh, I think uh, Alex is okay. He's all right. Let's see if I can find her in there. She may not be around often. Uh, we did have a little, uh, little accident in here. So far she's okay. She's just a little shaken up because we got this a big black cat that just likes to terrorize. That just uh, terrorized her. So she's down here for now. Possible. And and the best thing about that is it really opened up the door for me to have my uh, studio back. And but don't worry, this cage is not mine. The hamster is not mine. I'm just taking care of it. So uh, whoever the owners are for this hamster, don't worry, they are perfectly o She is perfectly okay. She has been a she has a fresh bowl of water and a fresh bowl. Fresh bowl of food and a fresh bottle of water. All ready for her. So, anyway. Anyway, I am not filming behind a headboard. This is actually for the first time ever. Well, second time ever that we're reviewing a Mike Harmon diecast car. And this is also for the first time we are reviewing a Kyle Weatherman car. And you may... Notice the uh, back the blue theme. I also got my uh, two medals from the uh, law enforcement and torch run. Well, the uh, back the blue glow run. This is my uh, first one. I know it looks a little bad right there, but this is basically the uh, state of Georgia with the uh, American flag with a WRPD on it. Back the blue glow run. And here's another one, which is, which I just recently got. And however, unfortunately, due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic that we could not be able to do, this is the uh, Law Enforcement Torch Run WRPD Glow Run, which is basically your traditional medal with the background is the uh, badge of the Warner Robins Police Department with WRPD Glow Run in the middle of it. What is very cool about this uh, metal part is that it glows in the dark. It has that blue glow to it, and also this is the uh, this is the patch of the Warner Robins Police Department, Georgia's international city, the city of Warner Robins. Some of you possibly never heard of that town, but you may have heard of it. Heard of Robins Air Force Base, and this town is the home to it. So anyway, now, how did this car actually did came to life? This car was in response to Bubba Wallace's Black Lives Matter car, which caused up a big stir within the NASCAR community. So basically, somebody has to run the uh, Back to Blue scheme. You know, if Bubba Wallace can race Black Lives Matter, then so can somebody race the uh, Back to Blue and everybody was okay with it. One gets one way, one gets the other. It's basically just a uh, an all black car. On the hood, we got the uh, American flag with the uh, thin blue line emblem. Thin blue line is basically a uh, law enforcement. If you ever heard of the uh, thin blue line before. 
Or you possibly possibly seen a flagpole like this. Possibly seen this flag on a flagpole now and then. With a thin blue line across. Sometimes it would be black and white. Sometimes it would, it would be inverted. Like instead of the black for these are where these are red stripes are. Instead of these are white stripes that are going right now. It would be a black. The uh, Instead of the uh, black stripes that is actually going across would be white. And of course the union would be a black union with the white stars. And running across is a thin blue line. Or fire department would be red, you know, thin red line. Fire department, thin yellow line would be a corrections, uh, corrections, uh, security. Green would be military, white would be uh, nurses, doctors, frontline healthcare workers. And I'm not going to go into further detail. This is a, uh, this has the uh, Camaro body, which is, oops, and just backed into the uh, studio here. Now, um, a friend of mine actually gave me this Omar uh, Robbins Police Department patch. They were... The story about this patch, patch is they were actually some of these officers right now in this town still wear these on their uniforms. Some of these uh, newer ones is actually much more inverted now these days. And there's also a third version as well. You can only get in October. It's the uh, pink patch, which which you can actually buy through the police department, and the money that goes to. And the money of that goes to the uh, Pink Patch Project. So let's go ahead. All right. Anyway, continue on the review. I just thought I just want to share that. Up on the uh, front fender, we have the uh, Simpson and Sonoka. We also have Goodyear Eagle. And I just noticed that the hood on this side, so cockeyed up then the other one's flush bound so I wonder what the issue is there on the side we got the uh, American flag part on the bottom and you got yourself the uh, arrow for the jack location you also have NASCAR race car NASCAR Xfinity series I know it's not been a while since I've done a NASCAR Xfinity series now, don't get me wrong, I've done NASCAR Nationwide Series with that Kevin Harvick, but I have not done a NASCAR Xfinity, so it's been a while. You know, it's got that 47, you know, it's got the Xfinity banner up here, got Kyle Weatherman. Keep on going back here, we got Kyle Klein, Classic Cars, we got 212 Performance. They got hashtag that back blue. On the back we have the hashtag back blue. Now, this was actually, you know, remember, this is actually made in protest of the uh, Black Lives Matter car. That Bubba Wallace race. Hoping that, that if NASCAR says something about this car, then they're going to say something about the Bubba Wallace car. But then again, you know, what's good for one is going to be good for for the other, or something like that. I don't know. Up also on the deck lid, we got the Journey Home Project with uh, Charlie Daniels on it. However, unfortunately, in July of 2020, we have lost Charlie Daniels, which is, I know, it was a, a big bummer. We just lost one of the biggest American Patriots. That ever walked on this earth and even performed. And the other side is the same as the driver's side. So we'll go ahead and pop open the hood, which I just did that, did that with a flick of a wrist. Hood actually opens up a lot wider than the other other ones. 
So here is the engine bay, engine compartment. This also has just two direct axles. That means the front wheels cannot turn, which is basically a generic for every uh, NASCAR Xfinity series car now these days. We used to do the, uh, used to give the Chevy Camaros the uh, full entire package, and basically give the Toyota Camrys and the uh, Su Toyota Camrys, the Supras, the four Mustangs, you know. And just the basics. Here's the underside. It's the uh, suspension, which is all molded plastic. Now it's got the uh, black exhaust and the transmission. Go ahead and lower this on the ground. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Now, uh, Kyle Weatherman, he really didn't impress me so far in the 2020 NASCAR season, but I like to see him do, do more. You know, go ahead and close this off. Let me uh, put this me metal back where to where it originally was. It will be about right there. And how about that? So, do I actually like this car? Yes, I do. If it's a good cause, if it's a good reason. Many of you know, I am a huge avid law enforcement supporter. But if you're not one of those, that's okay. You know, I'm not going to argue with you, you know, saying, saying you need to support our law enforcement officers. If you don't support law enforcement, that's fine. Maybe you had a re reason or an issue with them. But remember this. Law enforcement, even though that you don't like them, they're still people. They have families to go to. And just want to let everybody be aware of that. So, anyway, I hope you all like this review. Leave a comment, subscribe for more NASCAR diecast reviews. I publish these out the best way I can. And I'm finally glad to be back in this studio once again. It's been forever. I did not expect it to start off up on my headboard and then have them transfer here uh, days later. So, anyway, my name's Dustin, and I will see you guys next time.